Representations by the defense. Okay, uh, let's do another one in January, please. January 30th at 9:30. Oh, thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Uh, okay. 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 Okay.
point something out. You know, on the news last night, uh, I once again saw a brand new piece of video that I've never seen before, it's brand new to the news. I still have received no discovery. I'm deeply concerned, and I've expressed this concern at Justice Court, I expressed it in front of Judge Jones, and now I'm doing it here, that the state, and I'm not sure who it is, I don't know if it's Ms. Giordani, it sounds to me like Mr. Giordani's been very busy, um, I know Mr. Wilson is second chair on this case. I don't know who is sending discovery to the media. I don't know if I need a press pass to get discovery, but I would certainly like to get some discovery in this case before the media gets it, and I'm deeply concerned that the state is trying this case in the media. I, if, if I have an ethical violation uh, motion to file, I'll file it in the future. I don't have one right now, but I am concerned about it. When you say, what was the piece of evidence that you're referencing? My understanding is that a new piece of evidence, or a new piece of uh, video was given to the media. It was on Channel 13, I guess, last night, okay. which involved uh, some body cam or possibly some police vehicle video of my client being uh, talked to by police and giving statements. And it was a, a longer form than I have seen on the news before. And you know, that was on the news last night. I don't know why stuff is being given to the media at all at this point when nothing has been given to the defense. I'm deeply concerned about that. Um, you know, I've expressed my concern about getting a fair and impartial jury when it comes to trial time, and this constant you know, leaking of video and evidence to the media that has never been turned over to the defense it is a problem. So, just on that, my understanding is that it was a grand jury exhibit which the defense has access to. Okay. With, without... Maybe you can give it to the media. They would have made the request of the district court, which is a public record. Sure. So without, without knowing what the clip was and what the evidence <coughs> is at the grand jury, I'll just say that um, you know, I, don't, I can't make any rulings or any comments in regards to it because I'm not sure if that clip was from the grand jury exhibit uh, list, which again, as Ms. Weckley and Mr. Jackman stated, yeah, the, the media can get access to that. Um, Ms. Weckley is, uh, Mr. Mr. Giordani is first chair, is Mr. Wolfson second chair? If you um, know. I don't know that for certain, Your mm Honor. -hmm. Um, Mr. Giordani is in trial. I can, um, I understand the need for discovery. I will attempt to get that going without him. He should be done with trial on Thursday, but um, I'll start today on trying to get certain things over to the police. Thank you. And I agree with Mr. Westbrook when he was saying, in fairness to Mr. Giordani, he has been in basically back-to-back -back trials. He was in a two-week homicide in my department, and then he moved in, I know, to another trial, apparently. Um, the other thing I wanted to put on the record is that the grand jury transcript was filed. Mr. Westbrook brought to my attention, CC, Mr. Giordani, and Mr. Wilson, that uh, the transcript had a minor full name in it. Um, with the stipulation of the parties, the court immediately contacted the uh, grand jury reporter or court reporter. Um, and she immediately refiled with the proper initial designee for the um, minor witness. The first grand jury transcript has been pulled out. The second one with the initials has been filed. Everybody's been made aware of that, but I think it's important. We did a minute order saying that, but I just want to make sure we're all on the record and everyone understands that that transcript with, the corrected transcript with the minor's initials uh, is um, available. And on, on. Thank you so much for, and to your staff for jumping on that so quickly. I brought it to your attention at like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. You guys had a problem fixed within an hour. It was uh, very impressive. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, guys. Um, thank you. One last thing, Your Honor. Yes. Could I have 21 days from today for the filing of a writ of habeas corpus? I still have some exhibits. I, they could be on my desk right now because um, I put in a request for them last week. But I'm still trying to get the grand jury exhibits myself. So I think he already had his initial appearance, and I don't know what date the grand jury uh, transcript was filed. I would say this desk would be like it just gets this um, So I think it was uh, the corrected version was on, wasn't it Friday? Wasn't Friday the corrected? Friday was the corrected version, Your Honor, but speaking of the statute, the court can give a continuance of any length for good cause. I am entitled to the exhibits that were used as evidence, not just the transcript, and that I might have them as of today, but I didn't have them as of yesterday, for example. So um, I'd be entitled to uh, 21 days from today anyway, because I don't have grand jury exhibits yet. And I'm not sure that we actually have, I have to look at the transcripts again, but I'm not sure if the transcript actually includes the true bill in front of the district court. I think it might just include the hearing. I would also be entitled to that transcript as well. Regardless, I think 21 days from today is certainly within the statute. It's what the statute calls for. 
and you have you know discretion for good cause shown to extend it as long as you like. Okay, because I, I do want you to have the opportunity to do the exam. I'm going to do 21 days from today for both Mr. Hill and Mr. Westbrook on behalf of their clients. We already have our trial date. We have our status check. I think we're good. Thank right, you. Sir, thank you, everybody. Have a nice day.